Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. So today I am going to explain you how we can create a Canvas app from a SharePoint list. So Canvas app is where you can uh, create an app from the Power Apps Canvas without writing any code or any language like we usually use C sharp uh, or uh, any kind of .NET framework or anything. We are not using any code. So here simply we can drag and drop and then you can create a Canvas app form. I will now go to the system and I will explain you step by step how we can do it from a SharePoint list. And after a long time I am making videos. So I think more than a month I have not able to focus on making videos. But now I will make videos every week at least two to three videos so that we can learn Power Platform, SharePoint and uh, SPFX kind of things in, in, in this channel. And if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel so that you will get this kind of videos whenever I will upload into this channel. So now let me open my SharePoint site and we will see step by step how we can create the Power Apps Canvas app from that SharePoint list. So if I'll show you, this is my SharePoint site here. I have employees list and in that employees list, I have a title column, which I renamed to employee ID and then full name gender column, which is a choice column. You can see here, I'll show this. The values are female, male and others. And uh, then what I'll do here is I will create a app from this SharePoint list and from the uh, and here we will do this thing from the SharePoint interface itself. And that means I will not open my Power Apps. I will go from here. So if you click on integrate, then there is Power Apps and then click uh, on create an app. Now let me tell you. So it is not like after you uh, after I create an app, every time I come here plus new item, then it will not going to open the Power Apps app. That is a different thing how we can customize this list form using Power Apps. I will cover in a separate video. Now on this, I'll click on integrate Power Apps and then create an app. In this, I'll give a name here. I'll say employees app and then um, click on create. So once you click on create, it will create an app for you in the make.powerapps.com where you will see a full fledged app which you can run without modifying anything. So that means insert, update, delete operation and display operation will be there. In fact, sort, search operation are also will be there. So we can use those things and we can use the app and without using any code on this. Now, as I said, I will it will create three screens on this one is browse screen you can see here this is the browse screen and here you can see the other screen which is detail screen where you can see the detail and then the last one is the edit screen so three screen will be added on this now what i will do here is first thing is i will if you have not done any customization it is okay what you can do is you can click on publish and you will be able to see here that uh, the app is asking me to provide a description as well so i can give a description if you want to choose an icon or name you can also edit it from here without doing anything i'll click on publish this person so what happened now is the app has been published so i can go to the power apps home page you can see here i can go to the power apps home page and then i can see the app if i'll click on apps and in on this home page you can see here now this is the app that which we have created on this. Now I will show you one more thing on this. If I will go to the SharePoint site, let me just refresh also. If I'll go to the SharePoint site, I'll click on new item. You can see here still it is opening the SharePoint list form. It will not open the Power Apps form because we have not customized the form. So instead what we have done is we created an app on this, on this uh, for this particular list. So what I will do now is I'll click on this and then click on play. So once you click on play here, you will be able to see that there is an item. Uh, you can see all the items in the display screen. If you'll click on this, then you can see the sorry this is in the browse screen and if you we'll click on this you can see the details of this uh, particular item and you can click on edit and you will be able to see uh, you will be able to detail uh, edit also so i'll let's say i remove the sow from here and then click on submit item you can see here that has been changed if i'll go back here i can see those things as well so even you can click on this and then if you want to delete it, you can remember here TS003, you can click on delete and then you can see the item has been deleted. So that means without 
doing anything you can see here we are able to use uh, this app you can even use uh, this sort it will alphabetically it will uh, arrange the items you can see here now one thing i will show you whenever you are creating an item you can see here the this thing is coming as title so what we can do here is let me just close this app i will go back to our app and then you can see here uh, if we will see how we can change it. So if we'll see here now, this is the uh, title and we want to change this to employee ID. So what I what you can do is unlock this uh, property and then you can change it. Suppose I will simply write here employee ID. And then you can see uh, that has been employee ID now. If I'll click on save and then I can publish it. So even when you will click on publish, it will automatically save this. Now you can see here. So if I will go to the app now, I will click over play. So when we click on create, you can see here that has been changed. And from here, we will be able to add items. So you can see I'll put Kumar and then I will select the gender and then click on save. So you can see here 008 item has been added to this. So this way we can uh, create an app from a SharePoint list. In the upcoming videos, we will see how we can customize the app and also various other examples. Hope you can got an idea about how we can create a canvas app from a SharePoint list. This was a simple video. In upcoming videos, we will see also how we can customize a lot of things in this Power Apps Canvas app. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to the channel so that uh, you will get notification whenever I'll upload a video related to this kind of technologies. Thank you and till we meet in the next video, have a nice day.